Welcome to the wedding. Are we having fun? Awesome, yeah. So here I am giving a speech because I was made the best man for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe it's uh, nepotism or something. But um, we are here together to celebrate 15 years of these two. But I want that to be right there. That is the majority of my lifespan. <laughs> And because of that, like, I can't do the usual, um, uh, uh, man of honor thing and, and talk about, like, the before times. And all the, you know, good times I've had, uh, before they were married, because there really weren't any, um, you know, some diapers got changed. So, instead, I'm gonna talk about love and how powerful of a thing that is to keep these two together for 50 years! Yeah! Okay. So, yeah, 15 years of these two, despite everything. <laughs> I mean, even like the past several weeks of planning this alone, it has been insane. It, there has been so much happening. Alright, uh, show of hands, who, who here has been helping set this up? Show of hands, come on. Yeah, you, you know what's going on, don't you? It's, it was crazy. But despite all that, despite all the stress, they still love each other more than ever. It's amazing. And this isn't... Yeah, woo! <laughs> this isn't like a one-time thing. This happens a lot, and despite everything, despite every fight, every, every panic attack, everything that has ever happened, ever, these two are so in love. <laughs> it's unbelievable. That is the kind of thing that, like, so many people can only dream to achieve. That is the kind of love that is, like, that is true love. That is what that is. Thank you. All right. I'm going to pass off the mic to uh, the main of honor now. So far, um, 
most of you who know me actually know this is very difficult for me right now, and it's actually kind of funny that way. <laughs> I know Todd's going to laugh out of it right now. Anyhow, I've known this man for 13 years so far, and most of the stories I could tell you would take up most of the night, or I just couldn't tell them. <laughs> But the one that's really meaningful would be when we were actually in sixth grade together. Since we, since we just not really listen half the time, we'd uh, move on to our own devices, which usually involved scissors, a pencil, and me holding the pencil while Tom was playing with the scissors. <laughs> Needless to say, I went to the hospital that day. Um, Tom felt really badly about it. His mom actually made him call me and apologize for what he did. Yeah. Tom, never, Tom never really said that he was the one that was really sad about it. <laughs> it's pretty easy to tell. And ever since then, it's just been story after story, living with him finding a mannequin head in the oven in the house. <laughs> Any number of things, and it usually involves something weird or odd. But no matter what, when I had a problem or he had a problem, there was always someone to talk to about it. And he was always there, and I was always appreciative of it. So, I'd like to congratulate you two on getting married. Grace, you're a wonderful person, and I enjoy you a lot. Um, so I'd like to toast to Mr. and Mrs. McCubbin right now. <laughs> now the maid of honor to make a speech. Thank you, Joe. First of all, I would like to say how absolutely stunning Grace looks tonight. Don't you think so? The ceremony was beautiful, and I want to thank you, Grace and Tom, for inviting me to be a part of your special day. I hope that I and all of your bridesmaids, and Sarah, of course, have helped to make your wedding unforgettable. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jen, and I've been Grace's friend for about three years now. We were also roommates for a short time, and I've got to say, those six months were some of the greatest months of my life. <laughs> when Grace asked me to be her maid of honor, I was thrilled, and it has been an amazing experience. I want to thank you, Grace, for being the kind, supportive, loving friend that you are. We've been through a lot together, and I'm glad that our friendship has only grown stronger through the years. I am forever thankful that I have a friend like you to share my hardships and joys. As George Sand said, there's only one happiness in life, to love and be loved. I know that Grace and Tom will have happiness for all of their years to come. Grace and Tom, you have been very blessed in this life. You have wonderful family, friends, your gorgeous baby boy, and most importantly, each other. I have seen how perfect you are together, and may we all be so lucky. Now everyone, please raise your glasses to Grace and Tom. May your hands be forever clasped in friendship, and your hearts join forever in love. Melinda wants to give a speech as well. Hello, my name is Melinda. I have known Grace since high school, and we had very many fun times together. And she's always been there for me. I don't know how I would have gotten through my pregnancy without you. You have always been there for me. To listen to me, to give me advice, and just be there. Your wonderful Grace and Tom, 
there's nobody like you. When I, you're just quirky, you're fun. And Grace, you found yourself a really gorgeous guy. <laughs> and I hope to someday find my Tom. I see when I look, see the way that Grace talks about Tom and the look of love in her eyes, I know that they, these two will be together for the rest of their lives. I can't wait. I want to be there when you guys are old. I want to be there with you. You will! <laughs> so congratulations to the both of you. And may you have a long, happy life together. Okay. So, Jenny has a speech now. I think that maybe we're all giving a speech tonight. <laughs> we all love each other so much. <laughs> A quote from Maya Angelou. Love builds up the broken wall and straightens the crooked path. Love keeps the stars in the firmament and imposes rhythm on the ocean tides. Each of us is created of it, and I suspect each of us was created for it. I wanted to start off by thanking the bride and groom for asking me to be a part of their bond in life. I couldn't be more honored. I met Grace when I was 15, and since then, my life has never had a lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> During these seven years of friendship, we've seen each other through a lot. Mistakes made along the paths to maturity, talks about our futures, what we wanted to make of ourselves, and all those late night phone calls that often resulted in a lack of sleep for the big exam the next day. <laughs> Through all of this, there was one thing I didn't know, one thing I hadn't seen. It's shaking so bad. It's okay. <laughs> because it had happened so fast, so rapidly, that I would forever wonder where I was through all of it. It was my best friend, falling head over heels in love with the man that she had just met. Should I have been concerned? Should I have pushed for more information about him or requested that she done the same? The answer was a simple no. The most perfect love is the one that takes you by surprise. The first time I met Tom, I knew right away that he was just what she did not know she was looking for. And there is no one more perfect for my dearest friend. Fate made it so that these two wonderful people could find each other. And from the moment they met, they knew it was right. Fate made them make a beautiful, help them make a beautiful baby. <laughs> Look at him, his eyes, his cheeks. And then fate brought us all here today so that we could all bear witness to the reality that love does, in fact, have a definition. Congratulations. Only one more, I promise. You are probably all wondering what the bride is doing making a speech, but those of you who know me know that the chances of me keeping my mouth shut while everyone else does a speech are very slim. So, if it's any consolation, I will try to keep it short. First, thank you to Malia, Tom's sister, for marrying us. I couldn't have asked for a more personal and meaningful ceremony. A million and one thank yous to my bridesmaids. They've been helpful, supportive, all the things a bride could ask for. The only problem is, is they look absolutely stunning in their dresses, so I've had to seat them far away from me. Far away. <laughs> so, um, to my attendant, Sarah Erickson, wherever you are, <laughs> and my head usher, John Labath. Thank you doesn't even seem remotely appropriate for all the work you've done today. You've done an incredible job keeping a lid on this circus, and most importantly, 
you've managed to preserve my sanity thus far. Kind of, I mean, <laughs> as sane as I could be. And I don't know what I would have done without you. Really, I don't. To Karen and Bill, how can I thank you for raising such an amazing son? Without you guys, this man would not be here and wouldn't be in my life. Thank you for welcoming me to your family. You've been so gracious. Mom, where's my mom? What can I say? I don't know. None of this would have been possible without you. <laughs> you are such an amazing mother and I really don't deserve you. You've been there for me through everything, loving me, encouraging me, supporting me endlessly. You've watched me grow up and mature into the person I am today and I hope I've made you proud. And I'm so honored to be your daughter. I love you. I love you. <laughs> to both of my dads, Steve and Scott, some girls are lucky enough to have a really great dad. I, on the other hand, have two, and I am eternally grateful for your endless love and support. And finally, I would like to say a giant thank you to each and every one of you for being with us here today. A wedding can happen anytime and anywhere, but it's only a true celebration when all the people you're, all you love are here to share it with you. You guys really have made our day. So one more time, raise your glasses for a toast to everyone, happiness, celebration, and cake, finally.